Hi, I'm Craig Frazier, and I'm going to show you some reduction using the transparent Createx airbrush colors. We've got a nice Caribbean blue here. Now, many people say, is it sprayable right out of the bottle? Yeah, it is. But you always can want some a choice. You want to be able to add a little bit of reducer to create you know, a variance in gradation, as well as the ability of creating more detail. So I always give it a good shake, and I'm going to use a little mixing cup here. You can use the little gradations on the side to figure out your ratios. You can also just eyeball it. This paint is very forgiving when it comes to reducer. Speaking of reducer, we're going to use the 4012 reducer by Createx. And I'm just going to go like be between a 5 to a 10% reduction. Very, very careful. You can go more, but you always want to start out less. It's easier to add than it is to, you know, you can always add more reducer. Give it a good little stir right here. Now, what's the reason that I would actually prefer to stir this paint instead of shake it? Well, in stirring it, I can always add small amounts. If I want, I can always bring in a bottle Little, air, you know, little bottle there, fill it up and just give it a good shake. But then every time I wanted to modify the color, I'd have to add more to it. So we've got it stirred in nicely. And uh, point of stirring, you want to make sure that you don't just mix all your colors, then stir them or then shake them. Anytime you just add a reducer to any color, that reducer sitting on there can shock the pigment or can even shock some binders out there. It's always best to stir it as soon as possible. And plus, you may just forget you even mixed it at all, in which case you go to spray the bottle and you're squirting out pure reducer or pure pigment and it's not mixed in. But usually a little bit of a stir is all you need. Put it in the bottle. and it's ready to add to the airbrush. Okay, you've seen how easy it is to mix up the Createx airbrush colors and the 4012 reducer. Now we're gonna take it up a notch. We're gonna add some 4030 balancing clear to it. Now if you're wondering what 4030 is, it's basically, like I said, a balancing clear, but it adds durability, increases sprayability, basically oxal acts as an adhesion promoter. It's a great balancing clear. A uh, great additive that works with just about all of the Createx products. Now when using that, there's a couple of different ways you can apply it. We already got our nice little mix here of just 4012 and the Createx color. We can now add 4030 if we like to it. Now how much? We can add as little as 10%. I say a minimum. Anything less than 10% doesn't really matter. At least 10%, a maximum of 50%. And you just add it right in here. Now remember when you're adding it, it is not as thick as normal paint, but it also is not as thin as reducer. So you may need to add a little bit more reducer to this. There might be a little bit of a simpler way. If you haven't mixed your colors up at all yet, let's go ahead and create what I call the 4030 reducer slurry. And it's a combination of 4030 and 4012. So we'll take our cup here. Always give your 4030 a good shake. I know it's clear. I know it doesn't have any paint. Shake it anyway. There's multiple components in there. If you don't shake it up, you can have some issues. Add a little bit in there. In there. We don't need a lot. And then how much reducer? Uh, usually about 10% for this kind of paint. Or five, right around then. And we stir it up the same way with a stick. You can put it in the bottle and shake it up as well if you like. Give it a nice little stir. And then we can just add and of course, remember, always shake your paint, no matter what. Don't shake your reducer. That's the only thing you don't need to shake, your reducers. So add the paint. How much? I'm going to go 50%. Reason being is, that's a good number when mixing this stuff up. The balancing clear, you're never going to actually add too much of it where it becomes binder pour. That, if you, like I said, if you add too much reducer to a paint, it can become really weak and the pigment can start separating. You'll never have that problem if you're using the slurry because that 4030 is balancing clear. It is like a binder that's built into the paint. After stirring it up real nice, you can go ahead and add it to your bottle, just like we did before. I got an even better way of doing it. If you're doing a number of colors throughout the day, grab yourself a bigger cup, and what you can do is you can take your 4030 and mix the slurry into a bigger cup, go with like a 10% reducer and the 4030, mix it up first. The reason you want to mix it up first is the reducer can sometimes shock a pigment. Uh, it, it, more than it will the binder. So I'll mix the slurry up of this first, then just keep the pigments alone in their bottles, the paints alone, and then add the paints when necessary. Or just grab a clean bottle, add a little bit of paint, add a little bit of my slurry throughout the day, it's good to go. Now, these paints, I'm not saying they're a ticking time bomb. So that's a horrible analogy, but the clock is ticking. As soon as you add a reducer or a 4030 to your paint, the shelf life is becoming reduced. Now, that's the reason they don't add these reducers and binders up front into the paints, because it reduces shelf life. But it's a good thing. 
These reducers and binders, the, the, when they start actually reducing the shelf life, it's because they're actually activating the paint. They're emulsifying the paint itself. It, it increases adhesion. It increases sprayability. makes it much more durable. You'll have less delamination issues. It's a much more durable product overall uh, than just a, a right out of the bottle product. That's why they don't pre-mix these paints. Also, there's another little trick. When you're mixing up your slurries, you're mixing up these paints. If you've got the time, and I tell you to recommend you making the time when you're doing full size spray outs with a spray gun. With an airbrush, it's not as important, but if you can make the time to let it sit for anywhere from five to 15 minutes after you've mixed it and reduced it, that's important. What it's doing is that the reducer and the binder are working with the paint. They're emulsifying the pigment in there. It just sprays better. It sprays nicer and cleaner, especially when dealing with the candies or transparents. You'll see a difference in the gradations. So there's a couple of neat tricks for you and hope they helped you out.